Consider the simply supported beam, shown here. We wish to calculate its end rotations due to a uniformly distributed load placed over the entire length of the beam. The beam has a constant EI. Under the applied load, the beam is going to deform like this. So we have a clockwise rotation at A and a counterclockwise rotation at B. Let's refer to these as theta A and theta B respectively. Note that due to the symmetrical nature of the beam, theta A equals theta B. Therefore, we need to compute only one of them. Let's compute theta A using the virtual work method. According to this method, we can write where mx is the beam's bending moment equation due to the applied load and m star x is bending moment equation due to a virtual unit moment placed at A in the assumed direction of joint rotation, mx can be easily determined as shown here. To determine m star x, we place a unit clockwise moment at A, like this. Then we can write the beam's bending moment equation like this. Since theta A is the integral of mx times m star x over ei, we get Therefore, the beam's end rotations are